Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Today we're heading up to Bristol from Bournemouth because we're going to see Beauty and the Beast, the musical. And then tomorrow we're going from, well, we're going from Bristol to London tonight, staying the night. That's the dog. And then tomorrow we're seeing Frozen the musical. It just so happened that the rebooking of both the shows after they obviously got rescheduled fell back to back. So we weren't planning on doing it like this, but we've got a full Disney theatre weekend. It's gonna be quite the adventure, a fair few trains, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be our slice of Disney magic, and apparently both the shows are meant to be amazing. So we've already seen The Lion King, Mary Poppins, Aladdin, all the other like Disney shows, but to be able to go and see Beauty and the Beast and Frozen today is gonna to be so exciting. So I thought we'd take you along for this little weekend. First thing first, we need to take the dog to my mum's house. Bonnie girl is off to stay with her nanny. There she is patiently waiting. So let's go to Bristol. So this is Benji for anyone that's new on the channel. we got snacks. <laughs> let's show them the snacks we've got. We've got oh, pizzas. Like pizzas. Pastries and my Watch favorite. Use custard tarts. Yeah, and we're just in um, Little looking for, oh, that's the crock pot we own that one of our lovely viewers gave us. It's only 20 quid, bargain. Um, so, we're just looking for games because we've accidentally forgotten ours. There's Uno up there. Have we? Yeah, there's Uno. We could do a mouse learning game. No, one of the real reasons we're in here is because Benji's fallen in love with some bruschetta bites. Oh, <laughs> where are they? Oh, They're in the no. crisps. Is this is why I hate living. So they don't oh, always have your things. Like, do you have something you fall in love with and then they just, oh, we don't stop them anymore? Uh, we'll find them, we'll find them. They've not been here that, we didn't have them that long ago. Yeah, about two months ago. Um, oh no. They might be with like crackers, maybe. maybe. Or are they in like a section like this? Bad news for Benji. I don't want to talk about it. There was a... Uh, it's cancelled, not cancelled. No bruschetta bites. <laughs> if anyone knows what we mean, let us know. If you know me and you watch regularly, you'll know I'm a massive overpacker. But look at this. I have got everything I need in this little bag. And there's nothing of yours in my bag either, is there? No. That's, the, that's your normal trick. Look, I've got everything in one bag and then I've got half your stuff. Oh, can you just take a makeup bag? Or can you just. Yeah, well, when we travel, yeah. But, no, I mean abroad. But look, this is good for me. Yeah. I've got two outfits and a pair of shoes, all my toiletries and makeup. I'm pretty happy about this. You're done good. Thanks. Well, two bags technically, you've got a yeah, handbag. This one's the yeah, two bags, he told you. <laughs> so we're going Bournemouth to Southampton, which is about. Like the wrong way, it feels weird. It's about 30, you know, 40 minutes. Then we're changing at Southampton, and it's one hour 40 to Bristol Temple Meads. I don't think I've ever been to Bristol. Yes, you have. It's any world. Was that Bristol? Yeah, and then I put me and Dad were working in Bristol and we took you back, didn't we? Oh yeah, that was the only, only time I've done that. Yeah. I did some voiceover work for Cineworld, the first time I'd ever done that. Yeah. Um, but we've never really explored Bristol together and I wanted to make it like a whole weekend where we went and looked at, you know, the things. stuff. <laughs> but obviously that hasn't quite worked out because we've got to go. So we will have some time this morning, so we'll take you along for that. But yeah, Bournemouth to Southampton, Southampton to Bristol be there and then later we'll do Bristol to London so yeah it's quite a lot of trains today but kind of don't mind so Benj and I seen most of our theatre shows at the Mayflower in Southampton if we're local and then obviously we see shows on the West End but we couldn't find the best sort of location for Beauty and the Beast because it's on tour it hasn't come to Southampton so Bristol was the next closest place for us but we've never been to the theatre there before I think it's called the Hippodrome Hippodrome Theatre I need to double check that but yeah I'm excited I love theatre so much we both do and we both love Disney so much so it's gonna be great we've done the first leg of the journey Bournemouth to Southampton and now we're doing Southampton to Bristol. I am just about to play My Time with Porsche. I love this game, but I haven't played it for a while. And three hours later, we are in Bristol. And it's a beautiful sunny day, which is nice. Would have been a bit sucky if we had to walk in the rain. So yeah, 
I'm not going to lie to you, the cold weather this week has got me all ready and preparing for autumn, but if we can have a last bit of summer for our last two trips we have in, we're going to walk towards the theatre, but the show doesn't start till 2.30. We want to be in there around 2. We always give ourselves like half an hour because we like to look at the merch, we like to find our seat. We just don't want to be those people two minutes before, do we? Um, but it looks like there might be some sort of festival on because the train station was busy, wasn't it? Lots of people dressed in their festival gear. Yes. So we stopped in a little restaurant called Bella Vista and it's so sweet out here. We're right on the water. What a lovely little spot. I love it. We found something that was like local and not got a chain cut, didn't we? Yeah, because we're going to Turtle Bay later because we haven't been there for a while and they do two for one cocktails. And I love love the food there. Only because it was right outside the theatre as the well. The ribs and the mobile chicken dinner. I get the ribs. That's you do like the ribs, yes. Yeah, I did look at taking us to like Miller and Carter or whatever, but Benji wanted to turn to Bay later, so we've got pizza now for lunch, I think, by the looks of it. Or pasta. Cheers, Mama. Cheers. <laughs> You're wearing a Pizza Planet t-shirt today as well. Mm. <laughs> pizza Planet with your pizza. We've got margaritas. Mm. And I got a 12 inch and Benji got 14 and she looked at us like, who's having the bigger who's one? <laughs> but this looks fantastic. There's nothing quite like a freshly made proper Italian pizza, is there? Oh, yes. That was blooming delicious. Lovely wine, lovely pizza, just what we needed and wanted. I could honestly sit here all day. I love people watching and it's sunny and... Oh, there's a party boat. They have, yeah. Um, so we have an hour until we need to ideally be at the theatre. So I think we're just going to mooch over there and see what's around, do a little bit of shopping or browsing, maybe get like a little snack to eat in the cinema, in the cinema, in the theatre, or before some sort of some sort of summer summer. Look at this lovely flower wall behind me. Um, but yeah, I am um, nice and full actually for a minute. <laughs> Look how pretty it is down here. There's a little fish restaurant in that barge there all the trees this is real cute isn't it was your dinner lunch was your dinner lunch yeah it might, no my lunch was lunch was your lunch my, good my dinner's later <laughs> oh i like it here just getting an ice cream they sell loads of amazing flavors so we've both there you go you take one thank you we've got white chocolate and honeycomb is it good <laughs> Look how lovely this is. It's like a waterfall thing going on here. Loads of restaurants along the river. We've got our ice cream. Oh, what a nice day. He's trying to find us somewhere we can sit. Just finished our ice creams and we're just sat on the edge of the water. We have our red cups finishing our final bit of Prosecco. This was a cheap idea. Good shout. Good shout. This is so one, lovely. One bottle of that is the same as what they're charging for a, a, glass. a craft ale up there. Yeah. I don't know why, but the queue is massive to get in. They are checking NHS COVID passes and things like that, but yeah, it's uh, it's long. Uh, so we're just queuing with our cups. <laughs> oh, look at the little candles. So we're just going to have a little look at the merchandise, see what we have. What we want to know is if they have any pins. Bench bought me the pin because I've got them all from all the shows. How cute is that? So this is the cast today. The only person I really know is Sam Bailey who won the X Factor in 2013. So, uh, yeah, that's it. The ensemble. Exciting. I've never been to this theatre before. I like to see the theatres. Like I like to appreciate everything when you're walking in. It's all part of the experience, isn't it, Ben? Yeah. Thanks for being our guest. She's our belle today. He's our beast. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's lovely. We've just had a few people say hello to us, which always just melts my heart so much. I just, such a lovely thing when people are like, hi, we watch your vlogs. Like, it makes me really emotional, because I'm like, really? <laughs> just nice, isn't it? I'm just so happy to be in the theater again, you know? All right, and you're just going to find our seat. T. T for tango. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is our view. We're in row T. I'm on the aisle because Benji has long legs, bless him. Sometimes gets a bit stuck. Sorry. <laughs> Pound. What? You don't, what do you need that for? 20p. 
Yeah, but you don't me. need it. What do she need it for? I know, but I'm still in the <laughs> um, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. Show one. Let's go. Right, we're going to give you our review because if we don't do it now, we're going to be running around and we're not going to have a chance. So we just thought we'd do it fresh out the theatre, which by the way, thank you so much if any of you said hello to us because we, well, it's just so overwhelming, isn't it? It's a bit of a whirlwind 10, 15 minutes on there, but it's it, so lovely to see everyone. We've like not said hello to people in so long like that and it was just really nice. So overall, what did you think? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed I, it I think, too. I think if I went into it knowing that it wasn't going to be exactly the same songs, I probably would have enjoyed it a bit more but I think it's a bit of a surprise that there was original songs mm -hmm. not just like big classics but all the big classics were in there yeah it was a bit of a weird one for me because there were moments I was like wow this is great um Gaston's tavern scene was Very great good. be our guest was amazing great and Kill, there was, I enjoyed Kill the Beast that was good as well yeah and there was one original that Belle sang that she really belted it and I was like wow that's great there were lots of like bits of magic that yeah. they do that Disney have started Stage to do in there yeah. yeah and there was more the, out the costumes were incredible and Chip is clever you can't work out yeah. why you can only see his head if and not his body it, you know what I mean. yeah so there were lots of moments and especially like obviously when beast changes into human adam isn't it his name spoiler. is spoiler i mean it's not a spoiler <laughs> there were moments but overall i liked the show i didn't fall in love with it like i thought it's I was not gonna. my favorite it doesn't touch aladdin or lion king i agree that doesn't mean it's a bad show it just I means agree. it's not you, you can't touch the ogs yeah, well, yeah, it, it was good. I just uh, I think there might be some work on it, really. You know what I mean? You know when the show's just it launched, needs it needs... a big new belter. The one you come out of the yeah. show singing. Because I'm, now I'm just humming Kill the Beast and Taylor's All the Time. Yeah, or it needed a few more, like, you know when she had that one song that she, like, really belted? It needed a few more like that. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it was missing, but there was, like, something about it that I... I just, I just didn't, I couldn't put it in my top five or maybe not even in the top ten to be honest. Right. But that doesn't mean it's a bad show, so it doesn't mean we didn't enjoy it. We love our Disney, we love our theatre. Yeah. I think Is that good enough for you? I think we've kind of tried to describe it too much as how we did that. We did really we did enjoy, enjoy it. it yeah. But don't go it don't go thinking it's gonna be your new Aladdin, your new Lion King. No, I, Aladdin is one of my absolute favourite theatre shows. I, it's in my top three for sure. I loved that so much. I also think part of it might be because it was really uncomfortable theatre. Oh my day. Really uncomfy. I right. think that's got to do, I'm six foot three, so not everyone's mm. gonna have this. But you know the little binoculars? They stuck out so far, so I had to like sit like this. And so who my uses spine, them? My like, spine who actually was uses so them? twisted. I was like, yeah, yeah, I felt really uncomfortable. My back was killing me. There were people coming in an hour, for, uh, 45 minutes to an hour late. A four separate loop. We've of seen people. people turn up five to 10 minutes late before. We thought, we oh wow, you missed the first trains, 10 minutes, taxis, you're late. 45 traffic. minutes late. And there was a lot of up and down, a lot of people climbing in and out, obviously lots and lots of children in there, which actually the children didn't bother me whatsoever, but obviously they need the toilet mm -hmm. at random times. So I think some of it could be because of where we were sat. I could hear, like, I, and also, you know when there's like a lot of chat in a the theatre? Yeah. Like lots of conversation going on all the time. And I like, think because there was a lot of young kids, so the parents are trying to like keep them Shush them, yeah. Somewhere. But also I could hear like um, popcorn rattling and packets, do you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't get, like, couldn't ignore I swear, it. like two rows away from us, <laughs> there was someone that every time they like, did, dug in their sweets, scrunched it up and put it back in their pocket. That is the only way I can describe yes. it. It wasn't just like, a, oh, I love that one, I'll pop it down. It was like a mm, finish. Yeah, it was so loud. Did you notice? I looked over like, what squeezing my leg. Is that? Like, oh. It was so loud. So that's not the the, uh, the show's fault, obviously. I think sometimes part of it is like the environment you're in. And tomorrow we're going to be in an incredible theatre for Frozen. So maybe we'll feel totally different. But we'll give you a review of that as well. And we can maybe compare them a little bit. But actually, it's hard to compare because Frozen's on the West End isn't it it's gonna be better we know that we know Might that be. and also it's got it's got Samantha Barks in it and it is my all-time favorite it's got a few people we know in it actually overall what we're we giving it out of five or are we giving it a 10 out of 10 uh 6.8 6.8 I might agree with you there yeah and this sunshine is now right in my face yep. so we're gonna go to Turtle Bay now and get some yeah. dinner it's two for one cocktails until 7 p.m. so Benji's got a some sort of pina colada, I think it's called a coco colada. And I've got coconut um, espresso martinis. Espresso martini is one of my favorites. I've never had a coconut version before, so 
Obviously I have two, that will power me through for the rest of the night. All right, it's a really lovely like vibe in here. All the little lights. I love Turtle Bay, but we don't come here too often because I don't do too much spicy and I struggle to know what to have on the menu sometimes. But the waiter was just bringing our cutlery. Um, but I've gone for the coconut buttermilk fried chicken that comes with mac and cheese and Benji gets the Mobe chicken and, and some ribs. Here's Benji's chicken with the ribs and here's mine, fried chicken and mac and cheese. Um, um. Dinner was delicious. So good. So good. We have Turtle Bay in Bournemouth, but um, I didn't do any research on like where to go for dinner. But Benja... I've been asking for ages to get to a Turtle Bay day, haven't I? So. You have, so we made it happen. It was literally, and... eight, it was 20 yards away from the theatre. Yeah, it was so. literally opposite it. Plus, where are we going tomorrow? Buns and buns. <laughs> buns and buns. If you know, you know. We'll show you that tomorrow. Um, but for now, we're heading back to the train station, but obviously, as a lot of you may know if you watch the vlogs reg regularly, I like to have a schedule of fun, as Benji calls it, which is basically, I like to have everything to a time, I like to plan things, I put just a reservation for the restaurant, that kind of stuff, but we're well ahead of time because we got out the theatre an hour early than I thought we would, and, well, I thought we'd get out between five and a half, five, and I booked it for six. Yeah, so, so now we've got time to kill. So we have some time basically. So it's only, what time is it? 20 to 7. Inefficient schedule of fun it was. Inefficient? Yeah. Not, I would say that's very it's efficient. Not, it's not to the... <laughs> would you rather it be like loads of spare time and chill rather than like panicking? I think I should plan this well. Basically it's only 20 to 7, our train doesn't leave till 8. Can you not like schedule the fun of the train to like come as soon as we come into I, the station? I mean I did look at an earlier train but there isn't one so... It's going to have to be the 8 o'clock train, which gets us into Paddington, Paddington at 9.30ish, something like that. It's long. But anyway, I'm full on cocktails now, so I'm, I'm ready. I had some espresso martinis, so... <laughs> You're going to be so annoying on the train. No! Oh, yeah, we used to be lovely and energetic on the train. We're going to play Uno, babe. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> So we're on our final train of today. This train's lovely. Really nice. What, what company is this? Great Western. Is it? I think so. It's really nice. We've got a table so we can yeah, play Great some... Great Western. Great Western. Um, we've got a table so we can play some cards. And there's like um, little plugs and everything. Mm. Seats are comfy. The waiting room is lovely now. Oh, yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, so it will take us... What did I say? Around 40. Around 40. To get to London Paddington, and then we're going to go from London Paddington to Covent Garden, which we can either do a few ways either the tube or taxi. Or I'm going to double check, see what's close. I'm just trying to enjoy my TV show, but some people have seen a football game. <laughs> We have made it! Don't forget to look for uh, Peruvian bears. Oh, it's Paddington! There's a thing here, isn't there? <laughs> but there's a, a statue thing, isn't there? Oh, is there? Yeah. It's probably on the other side, is it? Look at the clock, it's lovely. What a nice station. We're both just saying I don't think we've been here before because... I have, I would have been here. Have you? Yeah, across London for football or something. I haven't, and I come to London regularly, but I only ever get into Waterloo in and out. And then it's Eurostar that we choose, isn't it? That's it, really. For the final leg of our journey, we're doing London Paddington Tube to Charing Cross to get us over to Covent Garden. Oliver Bonus. Oliver Bonus, yeah, it's open. Blimey, at 20 to 10 at night. Um, yeah, still going, still going. It's quite fun, really. <laughs> We've made it to our hotel. We're staying at a place called Wild. Um, I think they're like apartment hotel things. I booked it on booking.com. I just wanted to be close to the theatre for tomorrow. Yeah, Apart Hotels by Stay City. There we go. Oh, this is cute. Oh, no reception. I'll be very, your room is not available. Please contact the front desk. So the online check-in, no, not online check-in, the 
the check-in thing that we tried to do on the screens didn't work but a lady came down because she could see us on the cctv struggling and she was like oh the problem is is because we've upgraded you and that never happens to us so we'll see because i booked like the cheapest most basic room and we're now on floor seven of eight so oh seven oh one is oh is that my bottle yeah it's well, the first that, room on the left seven oh one sure yes 100 percent. i feel like i'm walking into like the millennium falcon oh really oh we can take our masks off now oh look this is very cute oh look look at the smeg oh. toaster kettle blimey we're not going to need any of that stuff but as you walk in you've got a little kitchen are there any more lights because it's very dark oh look how cute this is there's loads of like condiments and whatnot oh that's really bugging me let's sort that out you can take your mask off now babe oh wow if this is an upgrade this is still fairly like snug isn't it the window. okay are you putting the blind down wow blind up actually okay well it would be cooler if i could like give them a proper it. tour yeah cute little snug room oh it's a bit better let's see is this the bathroom obviously oh again that's it's snug we've got a mini fridge fine great then a little tiny dishwasher i mean <laughs> i feel like what is the purpose of that really but still it's still cute I've got Beyonce at Glastonbury 2011 on the TV. Don't know why, but that's on channel, channel no, BBC Two right now. <laughs> um, but Ben's just about to have a shower and I think I'm also gonna have one after him. So then we'll obviously go to bed and um, do it all again tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed the first of our theater vlog day. If you haven't subscribed already, please do click that subscribe button and we'll see you again in the morning. Good morning everyone, it's Sunday and we slept really well last night, the beds were really comfy, the pillow was good. I mean and the best bit was the blinds. The blind, it was. Like, it was. We woke up this morning like, and your brother was like, oh what time is it bub? I was like, oh it's got to be early and I looked at my phone and it was like 10 to 8. Yeah. It was pitch black. It was it. very good, yeah. There were a couple of like little things like the bathroom door is a little bit funny and it is quite compact and small it is what it is. but i would stay here again like it's got everything we need really liked it so yeah we're just packing up our things because it's now half past 10 and we have to check out by 11 so we're a little bit early gonna go for a little mooch yeah gonna go for mooch we booked in to go to a restaurant called buns and buns and if you follow us on instagram you may know already what this is but it's a restaurant in covent garden and we were really lucky this summer we got to work with visit england the tourist board which was just an epic experience and an amazing partnership um and as part of that they sent us to london for the day we went and saw everybody talking about jamie and we got to sort of do our own plan and sort of shape it how we wanted to do didn't we yeah. but they did recommend us a few places and one of them was this buns and buns we'd never heard of it um but we love bow buns so we were like mm, okay let's give it a go oh my god we lost our minds didn't it's we incredible. we absolutely lost our minds we were, and then i and came they do up other things as well they do like pizzas and they do like yeah they have other things yeah things. And it's right in sort of the heart of Covent Garden. So if you know where like the shops are and you've got the market. Turn right for five guys. Shake Shack. Turn left for Bar Buns, isn't it? Basically. It's right in the like middle bit, we'll show you. So anyway, I came up to London a couple of weeks ago for a Disney event, which you might have seen the vlog of that if you haven't already, then you can watch that one next. And Ben said to me, you can't go to Buns and Buns without me. Yeah, no, Vito. Vito, that. I wanted to show you that I'm wearing a very cute little Mickey denim skirt that I bought from Shop Disney. Hoping I could wear it to a park at some point, but this is the only sort of day I feel like I can get away wearing it. Can this go to Hyde Park if you want. Go to Hyde Park if you want. Anyway, I've done a big braid, Elsa Styley. I've got a cute little Disney necklace on that they very kindly sent to me recently, which I like. You can get that currently. It's available, I think, on the Shop Disney website. The little top is a Stitch Fix one that I got recently. Uh, where was this from? Where's this from? Uh, mint velvet. Suits me. And then just little white trainers. So that is my outfit. And I have an Olaf face mask as well. So a little bit of frozen on my uh, on my mask today. As it's a Sunday, a lot of the shops don't open till 11, but I just wanted to point out this one. It's called Neon Sheep. If you ever pass here, definitely come and have a little look. I'm gonna try and show you. It's like all homeware and stationery and it's real cute. We'll keep walking up, see if there's anything else open. Maybe we can get a coffee. This is Jubilee Market Hall and they are open and there's loads of little shops 
or stop, stop stands, the most adorable pet, like leads and collars and look at these. Oh my gosh. Like the only problem with Bonnie is that she just go in a puddle and just... I know. Yeah, if you've got a little dog, then it's fine. <laughs> Look how cute this little place is. Look at the puzzles on the wall. Oh my gosh. Honestly, you must come in here if you're ever passing. What a lovely way to start a day. So many little handmade things. I think Covent Garden might be my favourite spot in London. I absolutely love it here and there's so much choice. But this is what I meant. Oh my god, what is that going on? Do you see words in rainbows? Uh, Can you see there's like a... Something going on with it? Ladere, that's the macaron place. I've been there for my birthday with my mum once, um, but I used to stop and get macarons in there. And then... Should we get some for the train home? Yes. Good shout, babe, good shout. I don't know if you can see, but this is Royal Opera House. I've got like a window display here. Which ones are yours, Mina? I can see like, what I'd wear. Um, I quite like the feather pink ones with the lace yeah. inside. I like the blue one. Oh yeah, yeah. They're beautiful, aren't they? I like the sparkly black and silver ones there. I'm just sort of shaking because it's so lovely. It's so nice around here, look. When, especially on a sunny day. I love coming here. So this is the theatre we're going to later. This one is absolutely stunning. Like, I really have come to appreciate the architecture and the design inside the theatres, but this one is stunning. So what we thought we'd do was try and get our photo that we want now before this fills up with like loads of people. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely beautiful. They've got a little sweetie shop and over this side, they've got some of the dresses. Look at that oh my gosh yeah Arna over the other side that is stunning I don't think you can really appreciate that let's focus on it oh wow beautiful the dresses are beautifully designed like this has got little nods to like a, like a children's dress with the little ducks or birds or whatever it's the same fabric as the adult version it's like got the same um sleeves and even the bit down the middle of the dress there is the same as the children's one it's just like a beautiful adapted version of each other i love it let's look in the gift shop then see what merch they have oh it's nice to shop while it's quiet <laughs> it says i like warm hugs look at this it's nice and quiet in here now so we can just film for you but look at the things up here look look oh, oh my gosh Oh, it's so sweet. I love it. Look at the little jacket. Oh my gosh, look at that. They have some tote bags as well, but that says the hit Broadway musical, so they've obviously bought, bought those over, um, which is interesting. Okay. This is the West End, yeah. Um, and then the, the um, pin that they sell is the same as the Beat and the Beast one, just obviously frozen. Oh, Benj, I love it. Look at the socks. I like the socks we've got on Yeah. Side. Oh my God, look at Sven. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, I love it. What's over that? Is that the same over that side? Oh, look at the Christmas decoration. Oh my gosh, the water bottle's 60 pounds. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Look at it. That's incredible. Wow. Look at the little bag. Oh my gosh. I've just told Benj I think we need the fluffy blanket. And then he said, well, look, free travel mug with any blanket. So I think we're going to have to do that as well, aren't we? If you've ever seen a wild child, I've got myself the Sula. Sweaty upper lip alert. <laughs> if you know, you know. From wearing a mask. But Hannah, that works in this theatre, was lovely. Lovely Disney cast member. Really lovely chats that we bought stuff. I bought stuff. I Benji bought me a it, pin. But the her name badge was like the cast member shape, is that? Because she works for Disney. So yeah, they're I all didn't the... know if that was just like a West End thing or was that was... Because I don't know if they, if they work for the theatre or if they work for Disney, but I'm assuming she works for Disney. I don't know. Because she's working in the shop on the merchandise. Anyway, she was lovely. So it was £40 for the blanket and the mug. And I know they say you get the mug free, but really it's... If you look at it, it's 20 quid for the mug, 20 London quid for the... Anyway, go in there in, in the morning, it was, there was like two people in there. It was dead, it was lovely. So this is so pretty. They've got a churro shop in here. Oh my gosh. Obviously Ben just spotted Ben's cookies. Ginger, ginger, Ben's cookies. <laughs> There's loads of things that we can get later. Oh, I love happy socks. Bought them before. 
Do you not? I've bought them for friends before. I bought some for Gary. Yeah, we can have a look if you want. This is what Covent Garden's looking like at the moment. They've got this art exhibition up and loads of these neon lights. There's a QR code I can scan down there to find out a bit more, but they've like got all this around the edges. It's really lovely. And look at this down here. Hang on a minute, I've lost my bearings. Oh, we're over there, that's where we are. What, what do you mean? What are buns and buns? Where's it gone? All right, it's this side. It's the North Hall and it's here. Here it is. Buns and buns. Honestly, you won't regret it. So many people tag us on Instagram saying they're here, don't they? Saying we saw, saw you guys here and we've come. Okay, here's the menu. I don't recall having a menu last time no, like this. It was, it was all on the app, yeah. yeah. Um, but these buns here basically are Just the don't one. Forget, we got chips and tzatziki last time, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we, because we were trying to obviously do an ad, so we got loads of bits, didn't we? Yeah. Um, but this time it was we, all lovely, it was I just, amazing. I, this is all I want. Okay, me too. I want pork belly. I definitely want a mac one, bun, two, a chicken, three. and a pork belly. On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you? Twelve. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Chicken. Yeah. Buns and buns was fabulous as always. It can get a little bit spenny when you buy a few, just just as an FYI. And also because they put a big service charge on it as well. They do, yeah. Right. But we enjoyed it, and yeah. now well, we're at every penny. It was worth every penny. Maybe I should look at it. Oh, pick up some sweets. That's very convenient, isn't it? A sweet shop right by a theatre. He's doing a little pot for a fiver. And getting himself some sweeties. Oh, that's quite rude. Getting quite big ones. <laughs> True. Can't fit too many otherwise. Oh, how do you feel about fudge? <laughs> I want fudge. You know it's really fancy when they have the where to go on the wall like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this theatre. Oh my god. Is this not the most beautiful? This is stunning, isn't it's it? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. We're upstairs and right, yeah? The Royal Box, yeah, yeah in our dreams. <laughs> Turn it round for me, yeah. Because this One. machine's a bit temperamental. temperamental. Yeah. That's okay. Great, if you walk through here, on the, you go through the right hand door. Okay. And every king and queen will walk through that. Thank so you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a good day. And you over there with the grand saloon. Lovely. Thank Thanks you. Very much. No, we're not up there, you Wally. D. Three and four, uh, sorry, 33 and 34. Wow, this theatre is absolutely incredible. These seats are stunning. And here is the stage. Absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, the detail on the stage. I am so excited, guys. I think I'm gonna cry. But we are four rows back here. Brogan has been absolutely bawling. I've been sobbing because you know when you know when you love something so much and it like it was so good. <laughs> it was just so magical. Taxi for Brogan. <laughs> oh guys, honestly. It was so good. Yeah, I totally so get good. It. It's so good. <laughs> so clever. Everything they do is so magical. It's like watching the film in real life, you know? Like, <laughs> Should we maybe wait for like a couple of hours after it finishes once you've composed yourself a little bit? Yeah, but yeah. I just thought I'd show you like how much, how much I was enjoying it. <laughs> I don't know what I bothered them <laughs> <laughs> when you said, oh, have you got tissues? I was like, oh yeah, sure, like, maybe at the end it will be, but no, you're gone. It was the first song, and then hearing Samantha singing, it's She's just everything. Yeah, and then, um, and then let it go, like, blink and you miss it, obviously the change. Oh my god, it was amazing. So good, anyway. How good song? <laughs> so good. Unbelievable. Olaf is so good as well. They're all good, yeah. What do you watch? Do you watch the guy or do you watch Olaf? I watch uh, the a guy. Bit of both, I watch he's the guy. He's, as well. His face is so expressive. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Good. Anyway, cool. I'm gonna compose myself. See you in a bit, guys. <laughs> so we're literally just opposite the theatre. Just come out. So so good. I might even put that into my number one spot. Uh, no. Mm, I think so. I loved it so much. I actually liked the original songs as well. I really liked There's the original songs. There's a couple of songs. good bangers in there. Some, is her last name Barks? Yes. Yeah, Samantha, Samantha Barks was so incredibly Incredible. talented. Oh, her voice I, made me I like shiver. 
I may, I must have seen her ages ago before I knew them. Like, I mean, Les Mis. Yeah, before yeah. the film Les Mis, but in the show Les Mis, mm -hmm. before Les Mis, the film. Yeah, she was just so good. So, she so, so good. Incredible. Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was just a bit of everything, a bit of magic, funny. Sven is amazing. So I, good. I, I kept on just watching it. Oh, you mean scene. Olaf? No, it's Sven. The, the reindeer? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, there's a person in there. Yeah, I know. That is so it was cool. very clever. It was so cool. I just like forgot there was a person in there, you know? Yeah, exactly. I thought okay. Olaf was so good. Like, the guy that was playing Olaf, his face was yeah. really good. That's why Sven was so good, because you, you just forget. That there like, is normally a human, think yeah. there's two people back to front, it's a bit tacky, but it's like there's one person in there with yeah. lots of stilts on his hands and that. It was very really good. good. Everything about it was good. Elsa's dress was gorgeous. The, the changes, the magic, the sets. The music, absolutely everything. What, I loved everything what, about what it. What are you giving it? It's got to be a 10 out of 10 for me. No, it can't have 10 out of 10. It is. I it's perfection. 9.2. Oh, that's high for you. That is very high. That's high for you. That was Mine perfection. I loved 9, it. 9.4. I want to see it again and again and again. I sobbed. I loved it. I loved our seats, actually. We had really good seats. We, never, we always normally do the stalls. That's like our always go for default. But we actually chose to be in the Royal Circle. And I think somebody... um. Told me it was a really good view up there, and obviously I was trying to get the best like value and whatever. But um, it actually was perfect. The view was perfect. Really, I will say, really obviously, just other people really annoyed oh me up <laughs> again. Just like there was a woman who got her phone out a few times, which drove me mad. She and there was, was a lady. One of the ladies came down to tell her off. Did you Did see? You? Yeah. Oh. Um, then there were people trying to sing along to let it go when Samantha Barnes is belting it. And I was just focusing. Going, yeah, yeah. yeah, but the kids, a lot of them were it's kids, nice. but there were what adults the behind us singing it. Yeah, being back in theatre is amazing and just such a blessing to be able to do something like that. Now I just feel really lucky that like I've t I, I took it so for granted that we can go and do it, and now it's so nice to be able to support all the actors and everything. Loved it. Yeah, really, really good. We're just walking past the Lyceum Theatre now, where the Lion King is. Up here. Another thing we were going to say is it's so nice to see all the like, little kids in all the costumes. Like, so loads cute. of bell dresses yesterday, loads of um, Anna and Elsa. Anna, and also a couple of little boys in Olaf's costumes. Yeah, so cute. So sweet. Look at this theatre as well. 1834 this one opened. Beautiful. But what I came on to say was that we had a little look and our train is a super off peak return so it means we can get on sort of the next one so there's a five past four and it's half past three right now we have just got back home and we're gonna have some dinner we picked up bonnie she and so happy to see us oh we love her so much she's just been running up and down the stairs you can hear her <laughs> little feet hello baby you want to say hello to everyone you want to say good night Hello baby. I know, we're going to get on the sofa and have a snuggle. I've already put my pyjama shorts yeah. on and I'm going to have a nice cold shower after we finish our dinner. But it's felt like such a long weekend. It has, but it's been so good. We saw Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings on Friday that as well. really good. We love really that. Really good. We've been loving the cinema. Oh, she's done some water, sorry. Um, but yeah, no, it's just been really fun. It felt like ages ago we were in Bristol and it was so fun to do like a... Okay. You know, a little little loop, yeah. We hope you enjoy coming along for the journey with us. Please do click subscribe and give this video a little thumbs up. That really helps the channel. We'll be back very soon. The next vlog, I think, for you guys will be when we go to Plymouth next weekend, Yay. which we've been talking about for ages. It's the Airbnb with the private mini golf course that we can't wait to show you. So that'll be next weekend. And I said to you on the train, I think I might take my own putter with me. <laughs> I don't think that's very fair to have an advantage. It like sounds that. like a you problem to me. Anyway, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And we'll see you again in the next ones. See Bye. You later.